Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are going to solve five hard SAT math problems in this video. The first question is this one. In the figure above, AB is equal to 6, BC is equal to 8. What is the length of segment BD? So, first we rotate this triangle. Look at this, it will become this. Now, look at this figure. If we want to calculate the area of this, so the area will be equal to, area is equal to half AC into the height of this triangle, which is BD. And this is the required length of segment. So if we find the area in AC, then we can find BD. Look at the figure. In this figure, AC is this one. So, this is a right angle triangle and we can calculate AC by this. AC is equal to 6 square plus 8 square by Pythagoras theorem. We can write it 36 plus 64. This is 100 and AC is equal to 10. So, this is 10. Next, we want to calculate the area of this figure. We know that the area is equal to half AB into BC. If we put values here, AB is 6 and BC is 8. So, this is 24. So, the area of this figure is 24. AC is 10, we put values here, 24 is equal to half, AC is 10 and we will find BD. This is 24 is equal to 5 into BD. 24 by 5 is equal to BD and this is the required answer, 24 by 5. The next question is this one. In the figure above, a square is inscribed in a circle. If the area of the square is 36, what is the perimeter of the shaded region? So, we need to find this. This plus this. This is a square and the area is 36. So, the side of this square will be 6. Now, this is the diameter of this circle also. We can calculate it by it. this diameter is D. We can calculate it and it will be equal to 6 square plus 6 square and this will be equal to 2 into 6 square and this will be equal to 6 square root of 2. This is the diameter. We can write the radius will be half of this and that will be equal to 3 square root of 2. Now this area the circle is divided into four parts this this the perimeter is divided into four parts so the required perimeter this will be equal to 1 by 4 2 pi r plus this 6 so put value here 2 pi and r is 3 square root of 2 plus 6. Simplify this. This will be 3 pi square root of 2 divided by 2 plus 6. And this is the required answer. The next question is this one. The table above shows some values for the function n. If n is equal to this for positive constants k and e, what is the value of a? Write the function n which is equal to k into 2 power minus 80 and put these values here. n is 128 and t is 0. So this is 2 power 0 and 2 power 0 is 1. So we put here 1 into k is equal to 128 so k is equal to 
128. Now, if we write this function again, n is equal to k into 2 power minus 80 input these values n 16 and k is 128 2 power minus a and t is 1. We can write it like 16 divided by 128 is equal to 2 power minus a. If we cancel this with this, this is 8. 1 over 8 is equal to 2 power minus a. This is 1 over 2 power 3 is equal to 2 power minus a. We can write this 2 power minus 3 is equal to 2 power minus a. And this is the required value of a. So a is 3. This is the required answer. The next question is this one. In the equation shown above, x, y and z are positive integers. All of the following could be a possible value of y except which one? Solve this equation for y. We can write it x by 3 plus y by 12 is equal to z. Take the LCM. So this is 12. This is 4x plus y is equal to z we can write it 4x plus y is equal to z into 12 and we can write it y is equal to 12z minus 4x now take 4 common so this is 4 into 3z minus x now all the values of y are in the form of this. So, look at these values. This is also in the multiplication of 4. This is also, this is also, this is also, except this one. So, this is the right answer. The next question is this. On the number line above, the tick marks corresponds to consecutive integers. What is the value of x? Look at the question this value is obviously greater than this and these are consecutive integer so if we add plus 1 with this this will be equal to this just write it x by 8 is equal to x by 12 plus 1 we can write it x by 8 minus x by 12 is equal to 1 by taking the LCM, we can write 24 is 3x minus 2x is equal to 1, which is equal to x divided by 24 equal to 1 and x is equal to 24. And this is the right answer. Like the video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.